Yeah, so that's one thing. The banks here on the boat are so loud that uh, from all the speedboats that are racing past. Yeah, so all these boats come racing by and it's hard. On the back, it just gives a big bang every time. It's not too bad now when it's from the side, but it's a direct hit from the back, that sucks. Every five minutes. Okay guys, we're on the way now to check out uh, somebody that makes the stickers for the sale because we're gonna have some nice sponsors to come on the sale. We have two options. They can paint it and they can put uh, stickers on it. So now we're gonna decide what's the best quality and uh, yeah, then see uh, what we're doing. So uh, today, business day. I'm here with Pablo. Pablo has this shop that makes all the kind of prints on clothing, on sweaters, uh, caps and whatever. And he's able actually to use this material, print all the sponsors on it, and then sew it into the sail. Uh, we have the other option of painting it. Seems like a good option. We're gonna discuss it, and maybe Pablo is gonna do this for us. So, Pablo, thank you. Gracias for the explanation. And uh, okay, maybe we're gonna do this, guys. Just come from the sticker shop, and we're talking here with Jose. Jose is an artist here in Cartagena. He does body painting and murals. And I'm very enthusiastic. How are you? Uh, got a good feeling. So, so we're gonna have it painted by this local artist. So, uh, Jose, tu pienso el pintura no problema para ti? No, no problema. Amigo, gracias, gracias. So on the way back to the boat now, we've got the new sails. Haha, <laughs> this is the Genoa. The other sail is with uh, Jose. He's gonna paint uh, our sponsors on it. So all good, productive day. How insane is this guys? We've got here like 20 pelicans that took over a pirate ship. Just look at these guys sitting, chilling here on this beautiful pirate ship like they own it. Never seen that in my life. Okay, time to get the little Genoa down and getting the big one on. Let's do this. Okay, boat life problem 695. Okay, I installed a ventilator, but it didn't work and there was no uh, electricity coming out. So I checked it out and uh, well, then I pulled this out. And as you can see, fully corroded. But yeah, that's the problem in a boat. If it's fully corroded and it's behind the walls, you start behind the wall over there, you work your way down, and of course, all the way on the bottom is where the lead dropped down. So, uh, okay, clean this up. We're gonna patch it up with a new piece of wood up there, but uh, okay, got the problem. Now fix it, and we have a working ventilator because it's freaking hot. We're off to San Blas, and we can't use the spare guns there, they said, so we wanted the spare pole as well. And these guys actually just came from the San Blas Islands, so we got heaps of info where to go, the reefs. Uh, you were talking about we can catch a lot of tunas over there. Yeah, we caught three tunas so far. Three tunas, lobster, is that a lot of lobster? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Octopus. Lobster, octopus. They have this amazing uh, 50 foot aluminium yacht. What brand is it actually? It's a Sparkman Siemens. Sparkman Siemens guys, and it's insane. Uh, so we bought the spear pole and that's the nice thing here. If you're like in a group in different areas, you can buy stuff, meet each other. And uh, these guys helped us out. We're gonna get some info about immigration and customs. <laughs> so uh, we got some info. Now we're off to some blast guys uh, soon. Uh, Brett, Vicky, thanks for all the info and uh, hope to stay in contact. Okay, cooking, just came back from the spear, uh, Paul, happy and now discussing what to do with the anchor because uh, we're having uh, the possibility to buy a 50 meter more anchor chain, then we have a hundred of meter and then galvanize the other 50 because we can galvanize the other 50 now for $200. So we're discussing what to do now or galvanize 
and buy another 50 meter of chain or galvanize by like 25 meters of chain and then use rope and what do you think at the moment uh, uh well, i think we're going to use rope and buy another 25 meters because i think 70 total is enough uh, and it's the cheapest one yeah i think that's the best way as well then we can bring our anchor chain to uh, the guy that's going to clean it and galvanize it then we can buy 25 meters and rope that we can use in the meantime until it's galvanized because that takes a week will we hold strong with 25 meters of anchor chain and rope you reckon if we're gonna have here have another storm here uh here no but at rosario probably yeah not. so probably sail to rosario and then wait till the anchor is finished That's seems like a good plan check out what we do guys i'm so stoked our anchor winch haven't been working for the last five months so we took it apart uh, first we thought there was a misconnection like in between here in all the gears but all the gears gears look fine look at that as well so we took it further apart and look at that this little pin needs to go in here and in there and it's completely broken apart so uh, that means only if we replace this pin this will spin again and we have a working anchor winch for the, the connection we connected but it still didn't work properly the motor is just completely completely filled with oil so i don't know what's going on or all the oil got in there but i think somebody just filled it up with oil I have something very cool to show you guys i'm actually having an anchor winch check that out working like a charm check it out Okay, so very stoked about that. So basically what the problem was, uh, the pin that connects the axle that broke. Uh, so that's why the axle wasn't spinning anymore. And then the pin that broke uh, cut the seal that keeps the oil from coming into the motor. So after the seal broke, all the oil got into the engine or the electric engine. And that was why it wasn't functioning anymore. So uh, got the oil out, fixed the seal, got the pin back in. And uh, hopefully no more manual winching the anchor. Getting ourselves 25 meters of extra chain uh, to be safe today, getting some rope, and uh, finally getting some extra, extra safety here on the boat. 25 meters, so we have 75 in total. Should be enough. 25 meters of chain. That's pretty heavy, guys. It's about two point something for one meter. So that's about 60 kilos. That's a long walk. Check that out. This is Kenny, the regular pirate here. And uh, look what he got us. Yep. yep. Check that out. We're gonna catch some lobsters with, how do you call it? These are the Hawaiian slingshots. The Hawaiian slingshot. We trade it for a bottle of wine. And that's what we can still do here in the Caribbean. It's not that everybody wants money, money, money. If it's a good trade. So he's got a nice Cabernet Sauvignon. No, what, uh, what was it? Merlo? What did I don't know, I didn't even look. Oh, you didn't even look? Well, we've got him a nice bottle of wine, so he, he will drink it. He That's will true. drink it. So, but he's got this amazing, beautiful ship. Well, what ship is it? Uh, it's an old Formosa 51. Well, I hope to see you in some blast in December, maybe. I'll be there. Thank you so much, buddy. Yeah. I think we need a bigger dinghy, buddy. Are we going to make it to shore? Yeah, it's not problem. How much kilos do you reckon it is? So it's 60? probably like... 120 kilos. Just measured it. It's 63 meters, and uh, that's all gonna be galvanized. So they're gonna pick it up right now. Then they're gonna clean it in a salt or how do you call it? An acid bed. Uh, they do it with sandblasting and then a new coating. So hopefully it will look and uh, work like brand new again. So hopefully Friday we can pick it up again. It was heavy. <music>
Turn up, turn up, turn up, we still got the music loud.